Good evening, students and families. My name is David Radford, principal of Kent Meridian High School, and it's my privilege to welcome you to the 2020 Virtual Senior Awards Night. Students, we so wish we were able to honor you in person, but it's just not meant to be this year. We hope that you find joy in this moment. Grab some snacks, grab friends, grab family, and settle in for a wonderful evening where we honor the individual achievements of our scholars in the class of 2020. It is my honor and privilege to announce those students that are being recognized for achieving a 2020 Kent Meridian Certificate of Academic Excellence. In order to qualify for this award, these students have completed all their graduation requirements. They have a minimum of 23 credits. They have a cumulative grade point average of at least a 3.2. And they have achieved specific subject and credit classes, including pre-calculus or trigonometry three years of science, and two years of foreign language. Here are your students that have achieved the 2020 Camp Meridian Certificate of Academic Excellence. seniors. I wish we could be together so I could recognize you individually. However, I'm here to recognize and award the President's Education Silver Award. This award goes to seniors who have a cumulative grade point average of 3.74 to 3.5. That's amazing. Anyway, congratulations and here they are.
Good afternoon. My name is Jennifer Apple and I am the administrative intern this year at Kent Meridian High School. And it is my absolute pleasure to present tonight the President's Education Gold Award to 25 outstanding seniors who have earned a cumulative grade point average between 3.75 and 4.0. Congratulations seniors and good luck in the future. The B.B. Hatcher Award is given to the senior who demonstrates a significant contribution to Kent Meridian High School through kindness, caring, and showing pride in our school. This year's 2020 winner of the B.B. Hatcher Award is Laura Villarasa. Congratulations, Laura! Each month, two senior students are nominated by their peers and staff members to receive Student of the Month awards. Students are nominated in categories like cooperative, spirited, giving, helpful, open-minded, and caring. Here are the Senior Students of the Month. The following students have completed the requirements for the awarding of an AA degree from either Highline, Green River College, or Bellevue College. In addition, they have met all their high school requirements to earn their diploma. The department award is such an honor. Students were nominated and selected by teachers as role models for the department. These outstanding students took multiple courses, excelled in the subject, and made an impact on the learning experience. Congratulations, seniors. The Kent Meridian Art Department would like to recognize Electra Perez Patino for her achievement in ceramics over the last three years. Electra's passion, talent, and work ethic for clay is evident and inspiring to anyone who sees it. She can often be seen throwing on the wheel during lunch, after school, sometimes before school, and definitely all of class. Her work is high quality and her glazing is always exceptional. She comes to school inspired and excited to try new ideas that she's found and she's not afraid if they don't work out. Besides her talent, She's also incredibly kind and spends a lot of time helping new students um, learn how to use the wheel. Um, her presence and guidance with them is so valuable because it's not as easy as it looks. Fortunately, Electra was able to bring a pottery wheel home over the last three months and has been making work almost every single day. It's been really inspiring to see. Um, she's well on her way to building a portfolio and I'm certain she will have 
her work displayed in exhibitions and galleries in the near future. I'm so excited that she's choosing to continue working with ceramics and um, it's been such a privilege to watch her grow and develop an interest in working with clay over the last three years. Um, she's already created an Instagram account, red.pottery, where you can see her work displayed. And it not only is the work of high quality, but the way that she displays it on Instagram is so professional. Um, I'm so excited for what's gonna come in the future for you, Electra, and congratulations. Good morning, KM. Hey, it's my pleasure to announce the Business and Marketing Senior of the Year. Congratulations, Lisa Ha. Hey, congratulations, Lisa. Lisa is a kind of person that's been in DECA for three years, and whatever she says she does, she puts um, all her effort into things, and they become reality, as the Giving Tree shows. Um, first year they went to state, took 10th place, and this last year she, they took 9th place at state. Congratulations, Lisa. I'm very proud of you. The Counseling Department Award is going to a young man who's worked very hard for us this year. He is respectful, polite, helpful. He goes out of his way to help Mrs. Howell at his office is upstairs from the counseling office. Um, and we just really enjoy his presence in our office. Uh, he goes out of his way to help others and to help us. So Ray, this one's for you. The award is going to Raymond Otone. Thanks for everything you do, Ray. It's my honor to present the Outstanding Senior Achievement Award from the ELL department to Rehana Sahak. Rehana is a phenomenal student who joined us just a few years ago but she quickly adjusted to her new life in the United States and not only excelled academically, but demonstrated exceptional leadership abilities. She participated in a variety of programs at KM and served as the president of Girls Who Code Club. Having a big heart for people, Rehana is always looking for ways to serve others. For example, she organized an after-school tutoring group to support students in math, science, and other subjects. Rehana's devotion to her schoolwork, her classmates, and her community is commendable. She's a true representative of what it means to be a KM Royal. Congratulations, Rehana, and good luck in your future endeavors. We're extremely proud of you. Hey, KM. English department here. The English department is proud to select Daniel Drake as our department's outstanding senior. In a class of accomplished readers and writers, we chose Daniel because he has distinguished himself for his thoughtful approach to problems, his deep insights, and his unique ability to think from different perspectives. What impresses me the most about Daniel is how principled he is. In a world where it's easy to be unkind to those we disagree with, I have watched Daniel argue his point with grace and civility. Keep an eye on Daniel because he's going to use those skills to make KM proud. Congratulations, Daniel. The Family and Consumer Science Department has chosen Kaylee Williams as our department's outstanding senior. Throughout the semester, Kaylee demonstrated leadership and kindness among classmates and teachers and set a positive example for her fellow students. Her kindness extended beyond the classroom and helped bring joy to the people around her. For these reasons and many others, Kaylee was chosen as this department's outstanding senior. Congratulations, Kaylee. The Health and Fitness Department would like to recognize Giselle Maldonado for her hard work in PE every day for the last two years. When we look for a student to represent our department, we often look for a well-rounded student who inspires others with their work ethic and their attitude. Every day for the past two years, she has shown up to class and given amazing effort in her workouts, no matter the circumstances. Not only is Giselle a hard worker, but she's also an amazing human. If you've had the pleasure of having her in class, you already know that Giselle is welcoming to all students. She is the first one to welcome our new students with a warm acceptance that is so unique to her. Giselle has already touched so many lives with her kind heart and unstoppable determination. I know she's gonna to continue to do amazing things in her life. Congratulations, Giselle. We are so proud of you. KMTA would like to give its senior award to Russell Mary. Uh, Russell was a core part of our KMT experience over these last four years, and uh, Russell has an amazing ability to connect with students across social barriers. So 
he uh, he's beloved by his by his peers and teachers for that. Um, made him a great group member in a program that really prized group work. Uh, he looked to include others. He looked to help others. Um, and he was just a lot of fun to be around. Uh, so we really appreciated uh, his time in KMTA, and we wanted to to honor um, his great work in the program, helping others feel comfortable, um, doing great hard work himself, and really embracing project-based learning. It's a great part of KMTA. Congratulations, Russell. The recipient for the Math Department Award is Jordan Cahoon. Jordan is a true standout. In all my years of teaching, I have never met a student with the drive, talent, and determination that she possesses. As a junior in calculus, she gracefully informed me that she had already studied most of the content we were going to cover for the year. Then she landed on the idea of studying the higher level curriculum on her own as an independent study. I agreed to this challenge and was blown away at her dedication to this task. Needless to say, she dominated the course and mastered everything I could throw at her. Then came senior year where once again, Jordan worked out a way to do an independent study in math. This was a true independent study, covering topics I hadn't visited since my college days. It was up to Jordan to learn the material. I was just a sounding board. Once again, the devotion she demonstrated to her studies was admirable. She is truly deserving of this award. Congratulations, Jordan. Hello, this is Adam Rupert with the Camp Meridian Performing Arts Award for 2019-2020. And this year that award goes to William Doherty, William Doherty, uh, fabulous trombonist, uh, over the last four years has come to class every day, uh, eager to participate, eager to learn more, eager to find out what he can do in addition to what is required in class and did it with class and style and kindness. So this year we award William Doherty with the Performing Arts Award. Congratulations, William. Greetings, CAM families and graduating seniors. This is Mr. Gabert. I am the curricular leader of the science department. I'm honored to present the department award for top science student at KM. I would like to open this short presentation by saying that most students graduate with three or four science courses over a four year high school career. The winner of this year's science award goes to a student that took not only five science classes, but took our most difficult science courses. She did what 99.9% .9 of our students do not do. She took two sciences in one year. In an, in an era of uncertainty and doubt about the future, this student took sciences in all domains to be prepared for a future when scientific data will be more important than ever to drive future decision-making in our ever-changing political, environmental, and social world. I was so lucky to have this student as a freshman even then, she showed the traits that would help her be successful as a science student. Curious, patient, and willing to learn. She was an incredible role model to those around her. As one science teacher said, she just performs at a high level all the time. She had an awesome internal assessment too. There were so many big personalities that sometimes you almost forgot what a strong, consistent student she was. But she handled the demanding workload of IB and extracurriculars with so much grace and steadiness and knocked her science classes out of the park. Besides our higher level math, IB Biology is probably the hardest class at KM, along with IB Physics, but she knocked them out of the park. Another science teacher commented, she's a very hardworking, kind-hearted, amazing student. I loved having her in class. She always gave 110%. On behalf of the entire science department, I am honored to present this year's Outstanding Science Award to Jada So. Congratulations, Jada. You are so deserving of this award. You join a pantheon of outstanding CAM students, and we in the science department look forward to hearing great things about your future achievements. Congratulations. Curiosity is an underrated trait. It can get us into trouble. It can lead to failure. But sometimes it's okay to fail or to get in trouble. Asking the question why is an important part of historical investigation. Too many times, students stop asking the question why after one answer is found, and this leads to shallow research that doesn't find the root cause of historical problems. Miriam Roberts does not have this problem. She is genuinely curious about many topics. I'll be boring class with a lecture about the internal struggles between Trotsky and Stalin, 
and I'll see Miriam seemingly blatantly ignoring me and typing into her laptop. Using my proximity skills, I nonchalantly drift over to where she's seeing to see what she's doing, and of course I should have known better. Uh, she's looking up the details of why Trotsky missed fu the funeral of Lenin, uh, the details surrounding it, and, and showing curiosity and, and wanting to dive deeper into a subject that she's interested in. Um, she's curious, and using student agency, she risks getting in trouble for not focusing on the, the lecture in order to inquire and discover. Because of her innate curiosity, I've thought deeply about how to allow students to do more of their own learning in the classroom rather than more traditional ways of teaching. And so she's helped me become a better teacher. So the winner of this year's History Department Award is Miriam Roberts. Congratulations. The Student Support Department would like to recognize Terrence Graham for his hard work, his willingness to mentor others, and his all-around great attitude. Terrence would come to school every day with a smile on his face. In the halls, he would greet students and teachers with a fist bump and a word of encouragement. Regardless of what was going on in his own life, he would seek out other students to help, mentor, and just give words of encouragement to. When I hear the phrase, your attitude determines your altitude, I think of Terrence. Terrence would often put on a smile and help others when he was struggling himself, and make their day brighter. So T, we congratulate you on a job well done. We wish you the best at college. Go be great. Change the world with that smile and make sure to always help others. Hey everyone, my name is Mr. Bannon. I teach sports medicine here at KM and I'm going to announce the CTE Trades Department Student of the Year. The Trades Department consists of sports medicine, wood shop, and welding, three classes that clearly go together. And uh, we had a particularly good group of students these last few years, so it's really hard to choose. I'm pleased to announce that our student of the year this year is Phoebe Koulibaly. Phoebe was a two-year sports medicine student. She accomplished a lot in her time. She helped lead the after-school class. She went above and beyond in in-school work and out-of-school work. She competed with us several times and always did very well. I couldn't be more proud of Phoebe and everything that she's done, and I'm excited to see where she's going to go in the future. So congratulations to all students and, and congratulations to Phoebe for uh, winning the CTE Trades Department Student of the Year. The World Languages Department would like to recognize our senior, Caitlin Musney, for her determination to get better, for keeping her goals always in mind while leading and not following, for having the well-being of her peers and her teacher, not only during this tough year, but from years past. Thank you, Caitlin, for your dedication, not only to the world languages, but to the KM community over your years here in our campus. I will miss you, and I can assure you our community will miss you. Best of luck and lots of success. The International Baccalaureate aims to develop inquiring, knowledgeable, and caring young people who help to create a better and more peaceful world through intercultural understanding and respect. What a perfect time to be reminded of this. The students whose names you see are an outstanding example of what can happen when these aims are put into practice. Students complete a rigorous cross-curricular course of study. They are encouraged to make connections amongst content areas, use critical thinking and reflection in their learning, and analyze issues from a global perspective. In addition, students must produce a 4,000 word essay on a research topic of their choosing, complete creativity, activity, and service hours, and take the theory of knowledge course. Commitment to this program takes dedication and perseverance and a lot of late nights. As one parent summarized, it's a lot of work. So why do this? IB is recognized by universities worldwide in both acceptance and credits awarded, but I return to the aim of IB. These students do this also because they know they will be better citizens from the experience. And based on the discussions I have heard from them, they already are. This year's IB Diploma Award recipient is Will Doherty. When teachers were asked to select one student who best represented the learner profile for the IB Diploma Award, the first response I got was, how am I supposed to choose? This is a difficult decision because everyone in the cohort continually pushes and supports one another to achieve and improve. However, it became quickly apparent that Will truly embraced these qualities and displayed them in his work and interaction with others. He's an inquirer, always asking for the why behind an idea. He's caring. Time and time again, Will has championed for his fellow classmates, celebrating their successes and reaffirming their value. He's reflective. 
He has this look that says, I just want to think about this some more. And balanced with his activities that address activity, service, and leadership, as well as balancing his academics. He is a true well-rounded scholar. And that is why Will Doherty was chosen to receive the 2020 IB Diploma Award. Congratulations. CAS stands for Creativity, Activity, and Service, and this year's CAS Award recipient is Damanpreet Sekhan. CAS focuses not just on the accomplishments of a student, but also how that student has developed as an individual as a result. The CAS Award recognizes the student who most embodies the spirit of CAS. It is not about completing the greatest number of hours, but rather focusing on how to better oneself through this lens. The learning outcomes provide direction for this by encouraging students to self-reflect, challenge themselves, persevere, work together, and consider the ethics of their actions. I think you all agree that Damon Preet continually exhibits these skills in and out of class, and that is why she is this year's CAS Award recipient. Congratulations. I am proud to present the Washington State Honors Award, which recognizes the top 10% of our graduating class. In order to receive this award, students must meet rigorous academic standards, combining their cumulative grade point average with SAT or ACT scores. Congratulations. seniors. I wish we could all be together so we could recognize you in front of family and friends. I'm here to recognize the Washington State Principal Scholars. These are seniors who have led their class in academic achievement. The following students will graduate in the top 5% of their class. Wow. I want to congratulate you and thank you. And now here they are. All right, we're now at the point in the program where I have the honor and privilege of awarding the valedictorian medals for the class of 2020. This year we have four valedictorians, top students in their own rights, also have been involved in lots of athletics and activities and leadership positions, all with a 4.0 GPA, and every single student, a, an international baccalaureate diploma candidate where they've challenged themselves over the last couple of years with some of the most rigorous courses that anyone can take 
in high school. So big achievement for all four candidates. We are so proud of your accomplishments and I know that you're gonna move on to great things in life and we can't wait to see what you're gonna do next. I'm excited to be able to share those names with you so I'm gonna get to it right now. Valedictorian number one is Jordan Cahoon. Jordan, congratulations. Valedictorian number two, William Doherty. Will, congratulations. Valedictorian number three, Daniel Drake. Daniel, congratulations. And valedictorian number four, Jada So. Jada, congratulations. On behalf of the entire faculty and staff, I can't convey enough how proud of you we are for your accomplishments through high school. You've represented Kent Meridian High School and yourselves and your families very, very well. Thank you so much for all that you've given to our school and to yourselves. We are so proud of you. Congratulations again and best of luck to you in the future. Students and parents, families, friends, faculty, staff, everybody who's been able to tune in tonight, thank you so much for hanging out with us and honoring our seniors in the class of 2020. Seniors, we are all proud of you for your individual accomplishments, whether they were honored and recognized here tonight in big ways or in small ways. We look forward to our next opportunity to be together at a graduation ceremony in the near future. And seniors, remember that at this point, you are all forever part of the KM Royal family. And keep that in your heart as you go on about your life. You'll always be with us, and we hope that we will always be with you. Congratulations, seniors. Best of luck to you, and we will see you soon.